Nowadays we are using air guns to search for oil and gas and these are very loud sounds which might harm the hearing system of, of uh, the whales. And here the marine vibrator might be an alternative which is much lower, not so loud. Uh, and first we put a tag on the blue whale and then we have a hydrophone array with four hydrophones so that we place one kilometer apart and then we play back a low frequency sound that the blue whales are supposed to hear. But uh, might, on the other hand, have an impact on the behavior of the whales and that's the reason why we're here. So we want to see if this marine vibrator, if it's changing the behavior of the whales. But this marine vibrator, it's not so loud. So it, it would be better for the animals if, uh, if the industry can use this in the, in the future. We saw some gentle responses to the input of the sound and also a slight effect in the call behavior of the whales. And that might be the main, main effect of, of, this, uh, of this marine vibrator. So these tags, they are behavioral tags. So we get all the single dives and also the vocalization. And, and we can see like last year we had one was 24 hours and the blue whale was constantly feeding and it didn't stop feeding even though we, we put the tag on. The signal is in the same frequency range as the communication of the whales and might therefore have a, a, a masking effect of the communication. And therefore we are looking further inside to see if uh, there's an impact uh, on the communication ranges of the animals.